Hey everyone, it's DC here and today I want to go over five online learning resources for cybersecurity. Crazy. Crazy. Online resources are quite useful um, because a lot of the time they have a free introduction offer or a trial period where you can do a whole bunch of stuff for free. Um, but even though they are sometimes free all the way through, there are paid ones which are awesome. So I wanted to go over uh, my top five uh, websites essentially that you can use to learn for free. So the first website out of my top five is cybersecloungecom uh, I'll put a link in the description for each of these as well. So cybersecloungecom is um, it's just like any of the others. It has a free introduction period and um, lots of useful content on there, which is it's really useful to get into. It got into my top five because it does have a introductory offer, um, as well as the the content that's on there is amazing. And yeah, it, it, it's basically a good website just because of the content that's on there. Um, I found it to be quite useful, uh, you know, just picking up new skills or refreshing some knowledge that I had from before. Um, it's, yeah, it's a good website, so I definitely recommend cybersecloungecom The next website is tryhackme.com. Now, tryhackme.com is essentially a CTF site, but the way you learn, it's it's all at your own pace, it's completely free, and um, there is a premium uh, subscription that you can get on tryhackme.com, but um, you don't need it, really. You can do all of the free stuff first, and then if you want to you know, go deeper into it, then yeah, getting into the, the premium stuff is good. Um, you can build your own teams on there and complete challenges, and I know a couple of, um, universities here in Australia anyway actually use that website um, to host their own CTF competitions. They have them public and private and yeah it's a, it's a really good website. Um, I've got a couple of other videos on um, completing CTFs on that website so if you ever want to sort of see what it's all about have a jump on on those videos and take a look and yeah you'll see what it is before even signing up. The next website is udemy.com which I think is probably one of the most popular online learning websites uh, anywhere, really. And um, yeah, it is good. Um, it comes with a bit of a price tag compared with the other two that I've just mentioned. And um, yeah, but you do, essentially you learn online certifications there. So instead of something like Try Hack Me where you're not really getting certified at all, you're just learning, um, yeah, it's yeah. You you have to follow the coursework to complete the certification, to then get the certificate, obviously. So Udemy's up there. Um, it isn't too expensive, but um, yeah, I, I found it to be pretty useful. If you want to sort of check it out, they do also have a free trial period, um, but you can't do any courses or certifications um, through the free trial. It just sort of gives you access to see what's available, which is kind of shit, but. It is what it is. The last one on my list is one that I've mentioned probably a million times through my videos, which is Cybrary.it. Uh, Cybrary.it is focused entirely on uh, cybersecurity professionals and getting certified. I wish I was sponsored because I mentioned them so much, but it is just a really great website for learning and doing certifications through, and it's not really that expensive either. The reason I like Cybrary.it so much is the way that they um, sort of plan out their courses. So you can choose uh, at the start what you want your end goal to be. So what is the job you want? You pick the job and then it gives you all of the certifications you uh, should have or need to get that job. It also lists out how much uh, you're likely to get paid, and I believe it's in US dollars. It doesn't, you know, do localization, but um, it gives you a rough estimate of sort of the ballpark figure money you could earn if you had all of those certifications and a job. 
So thanks for watching this video guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, let me know down below if there's anything that you think I missed, any websites that maybe I missed out of my list or you think should have been in the top five. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Catch you on the next one guys.